everyone and welcome to a weird video today. I'm actually going to be talking about a marketing campaign. Yeah, very slow news day for me. I'm incredibly bored and this is where I'm at, talking about marketing. I mean, not that this is out of the realm of possibility for me, I've done that before, but today we are going to be talking about Aquaman The Lost Kingdom, specifically their very bold claims that this is the most mind-blowing 3D experience since Avatar. Now, I'm going to assume they're talking about The Way of Water because the first Avatar came out in 2009 and plenty of great 3D movies have happened since then. Here's the deal with Aquaman 2. This movie is going to be a bomb. The last several DC movies were box office disasters. Blue Beetle, Shazam 2, Black Adam, and even if it wasn't for the Amber Heard controversy, this movie I don't think would have done well at all. And of course the Amber Heard thing has definitely killed any chance, any opportunity, any wiggle room this movie might have had. And now they're making these really bold reaching claims that this is going to be the most amazing 3D movie since Avatar. Granted, there really haven't been that many great 3D movies since Avatar 2 came out. I think they're also trying to connect the dots between that this is a water-based movie and Avatar 2 was a water-based movie. So clearly, these two things are going to be just as good as the other. <laughs> and it is not. I will be the judge of that, of course. I will be doing my due diligence and trying to see it in IMAX 3D when it comes out a week from now. But... To make such an auspicious claim, it is desperate. It reeks of desperation and please, please come see our movie. We are trying to equate it to this other movie, this huge, massive blockbuster. Oh, it's going to be just like Avatar. The 3D is going to be just like that. Now, I haven't seen the 3D for this movie yet, so maybe it is good. Maybe it's not. Please don't do this because it just further embarrasses you. The 3D in Avatar 2 is like black magic. I think I talked about this in my review for it. The fact that it was as extreme and as deep and as volumetric as it was for the three hour length of time and didn't give any eye fatigue. James Cameron had to have made a deal with a demon for that to happen. Of course the high frame rate probably helped and James Cameron knows all about the 3D techniques and tricks and it has been over 10 years since Avatar 1 so there was a lot of time to learn the 3D language and better adapt the 3D language and expand upon it and push it in ways that were never possible back in 2009. This movie is also not being shot in 3D. Now it is possible for a movie that wasn't shot in 3D to be made with 3D in mind. You see things like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. The 3D in that was very good. It's one of the better 3D Marvel movies. And that movie was not shot in 3D. It was post-converted. And just because something's post-converted, by the way, doesn't mean that the 3D isn't going to be as good as something natively shot. There are probably plenty of natively shot movies that don't look as good as post-converted stuff. I have a whole video about the difference between post-converted converted in native 3D and the pros and cons of each of them. So it is possible that maybe the 3D will be exceptional like that. I mean, who knows? Like even some of the shots in Avatar 1 were post-converted. This is just, it's very sad. I don't foresee this movie doing well. I'll probably be the only person that ends up seeing this movie at all, let alone in IMAX 3D if it is available like that. I know it's going to be in 40x 3D and hopefully the Airbus IMAX theater will get it. I don't know. I'm getting way off topic. Point is, is that this is no good. And I don't know if this was DC or Warner or Real D making these claims but they are setting an extremely high bar for expectation because Avatar, I don't have enough height in my video to show how tall the expectations are for it now, how high of a bar that Avatar 2 set for 3D. Like, it's just like one of those things where Avatar 1 came out and people were like, how are they gonna break that bar because it was set so high, it was so well done. And then Avatar 2 comes out and smashes it. It is an uphill battle and they are trying everything they can to get people to go see it. Regardless of if they were gonna say this about the movie or not, I was gonna go see it because I gotta make the video on it. And it also happens to be the same weekend that Migration comes out, so double feature for that. Anyway, that is my incoherent rambling 
thoughts on this really weird marketing technique they're trying to pull. That's all I gotta say about it. Uh, it's gonna bomb, but I'm gonna be there to watch it happen. So anyway, thank you guys for checking this video out. I will see you next weekend for hopefully the av- I almost said Avatar 2. It's already working. It's already happened for the Aquaman 2, The Lost Kingdom, and Migration 3D double feature.